And we are back. Would you just look at it? So sorry about that. We dropped out there for a second. And then our production guy was all over it. So we got it. Just a quick right. breather. So we take breaks around here. You know, they actually do that in, uh, I had the pleasure of getting to live in Germany when I was a kid. My dad was in the military. But when you go to movies, <coughs> they stop the, the movie about halfway through for a, a 10 minute intermission. So people can go to the bathroom and like go get restocked on popcorn and drinks and stuff it's kind of weird I, I think it ruins a little bit of the momentum you know you're like you really get tied into a movie and all of a sudden it you know the screen goes black and the lights turn on it first time that it ever happened to us we were like wait what what's happening right now did we, we're getting oh man out? when we did the uh the whole cruise we went on a it's like a broadway show that's on there and they had an intermission because it was so late and we took that intermission holy hell even had a big debate on going back in, but we did, we did, we finished it. We Took did good. Full advantage. Yeah. Next time I'm bringing a pillow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Score five to four hot sauce. Take, took the lead on that last one. This time they're going to be on the bottom half of docs attacking. We're going to see if they can take over this defense and get the true lead. Two points ahead. And uh, not a good... Or not a uh, lucky uh, laptop location here for the bees. They are not on the boat. That's the last thing you want when you're playing docks on the defense. Yeah, yeah, right side behind the green emissions. Right at the right back corner. Just camping. Oh, he's shooting from the center? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, from top, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, he can see me through the, uh, because it hasn't rendered the, um, thing. Yeah. <laughs> a breath. Nice. No, he's going to get that firewall. Now we know where the laptop is. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, shot taken. Detox goes down. Not even one for that revive. Beautiful cover fire by Nadi and Linesy on that one. He's gonna he's shooting between the boxes, yo. There's definitely an art to when someone goes down. That's what's right, maybe. You pick them up right away. You know, you gotta watch the uh -huh. grenades, mm -hmm. maybe timing those, and then also you gotta lay cover fire before you pick somebody up. They're not gonna know exactly where you're gonna stand up at. Uh, okay, That's cool, a cool, very cool. true statement. I actually got yelled at by Chuck for see. reviving him. Uh, it was a weird feeling at first until he explained it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, it. it's a waste of a revive it's a waste of one of your downs yep. um, yeah watch out for c4 maybe oh, shit. He's in that sneaky spot on the yellow fence to the left. watch out right side okay oh wait are coming in with the hunter biddies thank you oh wait thank you bucks get your little Sarah Michelle Kelly to the left and at the sneaky spot. I think she's chugging almond milk tonight. I think they ran out of oatmeal at the store. <laughs> Yuck. Like one going to the right. Yeah, yeah, they push him to the right a little bit. All right, bees now knowing where hot sauce is at. Coming back together here. Make it feel a little bit better. Right here in front of me. Keep all the bees near the hive. Right side of that building. Push him back to the right, it looked like, at least one. Another high high IQ play here. Call hey, stop right on the side of that container from you, bro. Ain't one behind the building? Hey, right, stop, don't, don't pick up too much, I got two here. Yeah, I'm watching your back right now, bro, I can't give a hand. Chuck is 3-5, V-Sauce is going to get that down on kill a B and the elimination. Naughty down, Sprinky dump shot. This looks good. Wait that, wait that, wait that. Sam McDown is now just down to Chuck. And look at that, one minute still left on the clock. Naughty's going to get that hack top, or that laptop hack. And a solid lead now, 6-4. Hot sauce. 
Yeah, bees getting a little spread out here. They uh trying to cover too many points at one time. I feel like they they got to pull it back together. Um you know, a little bit of that probably due to the fact that Hot Sauce has been running the two two on two pinching maneuver most of the evening. Um, so unfortunate there that all four of Hot Sauce were just moving in one solid wave, uh, unable for wannabes to even have a shot at that one. Yeah, Chuckamus Prime was the only one who did anything on that last map, according to the numbers. It's he only gets two revives. There was no kills. That's another team ace on the Hot Sauce side. Uh, over on the hot sauce side, the winners on that one, uh, D sauce gets one kill. Naughty boy gets one kill, one revive. Lions, gets two kills. Roush Raider gets a revive. Everybody does something on that last map, uh, but nobody dies on the hot sauce side. So congratulations to them. Um, they swept the wannabes on docks, uh, and now have the two point lead. This is exactly where they want to be, uh, from the very, no pun intended, where uh, they wanted to be from the very beginning. So, um, here we are, hot sauce six to four. We're gonna go to what is this map number six of the tonight, and um, we'll see how it plays out, man. Black site. Look who popped in over here. We got six skulls. Finally, where you been, hey, motherfucker? Hey, hey. Where you been, motherfucker? Wasabi. It's one of uh, skulls is one of skulls is favorite lines. I'm we'll supposed to play with skull. skulls two nights in a row now, and not including tonight, but two nights prior and uh like straight up fell asleep <laughs> just ate dinner and fell asleep so yeah sorry buddy. yeah if, if red ever tells you that when you're playing with him oh i'm just gonna go eat dinner and then i'll hop back on <laughs> don't trust that man don't trust that man <laughs> Those so are many rad. times so many times i've held a spot for this dude and sure enough he's already clocked out yeah sorry i uh yeah i don't know on a Friday, be saying, cooking like, too many good meals over there. Be putting my boy it, Red to bed. That's all those carby meals. And she puts, I think she puts NyQuil in it. Sleeping <laughs> yeah, agents. She just, she's truth serum. Capping you <laughs> off with some Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so sorry to both of you guys. It was fun. The sleep was fun. So, I don't know. I, it, yeah, the score is 10 to 4, so I don't know if. Somebody maybe had an audio glitch or what, but I don't think it was supposed to be another host change. I believe it's every six rounds that they're yeah, to it's supposed do to be every six. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, and ten. Uh, we'd have to finish up the next two rounds to be able to get to that point again. Yeah, it looks like Chuck hosting. Yeah, I got Naughty Boy again, and oh, I thought. Now they're back on the docks, but um, for a second there, I thought we were going to go to uh, Black Site, and then they they went to Bunker. So I'm still not 100% sure where we're going to end up on this one. We haven't, that, that's true. We, have we seen Bunker? We haven't seen Bunker tonight, have we? No, we haven't seen Bunker. Which is a map so, uh, both of these teams really like to play. They're both really good at it. Um, that typical push out and hold the middle trench, fall back when you need to. It, we've seen it all night. Now, we haven't seen a double map tonight where they've, they've chosen a map, played two, and then played it again. Um, so we started off in district. Uh, Bees were on the uh, on the board first, one to nothing, and they were attacking. Um, Hot Sauce does the same thing. They attack. They get a point. One to one, we're tied. Uh, the next map was post-15. Um, where we saw the bees overtake very strong on that one, attack and defense. So then they took a two point lead, three to one. Um, the next map was Warehouse, uh, where Hot Sauce starts off very strong and they get a little bit almost tied back up, three to two. And then bees again, they hold down their defense, they maintain the two point lead, four to two. Then we went to containment. Uh, Hot Sauce just overran the bees on containment. Um, four to three and then four to four defense and attack. Uh, next map we went to, we just saw was docks where hot sauce again overtook the wannabes, winning both attack and defense, changing up the score six to four with a two point lead on hot sauce. So, I mean, it's just crazy how we just flip flopped, but hot sauce has won the last four matches in a row. So, that's the way to do it, baby. If you're going to win, you got it. That's the way to do it. And that is uh, when we switched hosts, too. So, 
We saw yeah. that happen last time with Toxic Coast yes. and SSP. You know, maybe there's a lot of superstition between, you know, should you switch hosts, should you not? Like I've I've always said if if you if you're all in there and nobody's really having an issue and everything seems fine, then just stay on that one host. There's no reason you're not somehow getting some sort of advantage by switching over unless there truly is some lag going on. So looks like we're gonna do another lag test though. Yeah. I've already yep. seen a few of these tonight. Our favorite prepper map. Uh Frankie, I was cracking up while you were going over the uh the night so far. Frankie caught me slouching over here. I forget, I also have the, the jacket on because I can't be having the nips out with the high beams just fucking <laughs> blinding you all all night. Not when until you see titty, the bits. When those titty slabs come. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just get a little flash. <laughs> yeah, so not sure if they're happy with this lag test. I think everything looks good, but with these guys you never know it could be two or three times of doing there's this but it's usually one or two in there yeah uh also i <laughs> uh, love the fact that nobody go over and look at it right now but chuck streaming his point of view on twitch the title of his match is Nawful season seven wannabes versus sesame street <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think they're happy with this lag test they're gonna end up having to uh I don't know if they're going to go to Bunker, or I have no idea where they're going to go to next. So it ought to be pretty interesting. But I do like the comments, though. Frankie One Shot comes in. Pi, you about to start break dancing? Um, love you, my sexy little break dancer, and <laughs> you little like the skinny guy from Road Trip. So I think those are the best comments so far all night. Um, and when he talks about the break dancing, obviously he's talking about the commercial that Fresh Milk made. Uh, it is those... in this chat. Uh, if on the link to go be able to see that that commercial uh fresh milk make sure to stick around at the end of the stream and drop that one more time so people have somewhere to go afterwards wish we could raid your youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> we uh, but in that video you get to see erotica's pie you know break dancing i was breaking so, it down i wish i had moves like that fuck yeah yeah i was just got a, a little dance night. at the very end just looked weird. Oh, did you get did some break dancing in last night? The wedding? No, God, no. Luckily for everybody there, no, I did not. No, I, I very much dance like a white boy. I, <laughs> I wish I had the hips that don't lie, but these things, are, they're they're stiff. We've got artificial Be hips. Bees off with the uh, comment of the night from Road Trips. Did you kill a cheetah? That guy pulls out those drawers and. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's a rough, rough moment in that movie. <laughs> Luckily Rad's so. here to get all the movie references. Unfortunately, I have not watched that many movies in my lifetime. I am one of those people that no matter how good it is, I usually end up falling asleep. Unfortunately. So we do have another first time chatter in here, there but he is. Uh, I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Lieberson pin. It's Cleverson Pan. It's Cleverson Pan. It's Cleverson. He's from Panama. I'm positive. I'm almost positive. But Cleverson, glad you're here, Bubba. I boinked her. Uh, uh, <laughs> He's off with another one. Sorry. Who's in Road Trip? I might have seen it and just don't remember much at all. Oh, God. You're going to make me IMDB this. Don't make me IMDB <laughs> this. I'm going to IMDB this. Uh, uh, it was really good. And you get to see Amy Smart's in it. I'm just I, Amy Smart's in it, so. Don Donnie Donnie Kong probably already has the answer. He's another one that's a, a huge movie buff. He's always hitting me with different references, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, buddy. I wish <laughs> I wish I could share the moment with you, but I haven't seen it. So I've got a whole Brecken, list. Go ahead. Brecken Meyer, he's in that. Uh, what he's in all kinds of others, like he's in Clueless, and um, I don't know. Yeah, he's I'm Clueless. Freddy's okay. Uh, Sean William Scott, he's from, you know, America uh, Pie, American Pie. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Amy Smart is in it. She's awesome. And then uh, Paulo Castino, Const Castanazzo. I think that's how you A say young it, but... Brendan Fraser. Thank you, Cole. He, dude, he was awesome never, in this. I've never, uh, I've never been called that before, but I love You're Brendan like Fraser. I Hopefully too, I don't but... turn out to be like him when he's older because he's uh he's put on a few pounds, my man. 
He's been yeah. living that good retired life. <laughs> he, he did a he did a Russell Crowe on us, which is a really messed up thing. Like yeah. you've seen, like right now you're in that like Tarzan mode that he was in, or uh, George of the Jungle, George yeah, of yeah. the Jungle point of his life. Uh, but but yeah, man, he uh, he changed. And like I said, we like a Russell Crowe in it because if you watch him in Gladiator, he's all like you know three hundred in the front and all that shit. But yeah, now six pack now, now, just, like, now the six pack he carries on the side and it's usually Coors Light. <laughs> yes, sir. yes sir he was in that recent movie man where it was like he was having a bad day and some chick just gave him some hell like road rage and then he just went all freaking psycho i don't know it's on hbo i don't even know the name of it huh. but, uh i'll i'm be, be that shit too but yeah man he's uh he's changed Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So production, production is coming in inebriated. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on, King Cole? What's going on, Champ? How you been, man? Yeah, if y'all start to see the uh, scoreboard falter a little bit, just just know that uh, just it's bear it's with probably, us. Yeah, it'll get changed eventually. It's just it's gonna take some time. Yeah, it's still six four though. Our production is uh yep we've done a lag test and now they're all holding hands and chanting to the firewall gods and it looks like we've got office as the selection here um it would just be wonderful if we could go ahead and get it going how long have we been going here thanks Cole. uh what we technically started up at around 8 20 i'd say so it's it's been about an hour 40. Okay. Something like that. Not too bad. They're making good time. Yeah, man, it is good to be back. Uh, I so hated that I missed okay. the Super Sweet Potatoes versus uh, Los Toxicos fight. Uh, Pi and Nick held those two down. Um, holy hell, man. It was just a crazy fight. If you missed it, go back over to our channel. And also give us a follow and a like and sub and all that other good stuff that people beg for. But um, but go back and watch that fight. It was crazy good. Yeah, one of the best to date that we've been able to cover. Uh, we've seen several little kind of blowouts. Or right, Well, no, I guess we had MJG versus Triple Down. That was a really good match, too. Can't take anything away from them. Yeah. Both fighting it off to see who could potentially get into the playoff spot. And they both knocked each other out, letting Wolfpack get in. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was weird, man. Like all the different scenarios that could happen with that. There was like fight. four different outcomes. Yeah, which is <laughs> yeah, like a first for Nawful. It was really cool. This has been an interesting night tonight. Uh, a lot of people's predictions so far are starting to come true. Um, not early on, though. A lot of people thought that uh, Hot Sauce would overtake. Uh, I've heard uh, I said eleven nine tonight. I think that it was going to be close, but then it would be a two-point leap by the time that everything was said and done. Um, that's starting to happen, starting to happen. But B started off with a strong lead. Um, right now, that's the name of the game. They have to overtake twice to be able to just catch up. Uh, so Bs have flipped this on themselves, uh, and we'll see if they can they can get back ahead. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, they want to switch back hosts. <laughs> They're like, you know what? Actually, we'll stay here, Chuck. We kind of like it. Office it is. My boys, hot sauce on the defense. I don't want to. I'm not standing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not standing here. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm blocking this uh, door right here. I'm go out. I'm blocking this. Thank you, Frankie, coming in with the links. Wait, wait, ah, oh, wait, ah, oh, wait. For that road trip movie. <laughs> huh. So bees on the offensive. Looking to see if Hot Sauce is pushed yeah. up, but they are currently holding back. They sent us in. I'm going to go for this. Yep. Want to be still not. Yeah, there you go. Get the firewall before you. Where should I, uh... uh... Chuck, come with me, go on the right, we try to Can go close, because I, or... I didn't see anyone oh, close on the right. I can... Okay, um... So 
it is glass room, right? Yeah, it is oh, glass yeah, room. And they're not, they might push I don't hear them there anymore. They might, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, glass room used to be a huge fan favorite as far as defense. You know, two door blockers, a couple C4s, some mines or something. But over the years, we've seen the teams really kind of evolve out of holding the glass room. We're because uh, uh, if you you're yeah. playing in a very aggressive team with a, that are good shooters and know where to put their grenades, you can get bottled up in that room pretty quick. Doors, double doors are open. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, he's firing on me from the. He's got the double doors open across the through uh through this room. Yeah. Chug taking some shots. I think they're double firing from that from the double doors, Amy. Just peek it, you'll see. Ready? Yeah. What door you open? The left. Oh, they backed off? I'm with you. Push, push, push with me. Yeah, oh, no, it's still there, it's still there on that double door. Close to you, close. Nice. Nice. Oh, he's He's red, he's red, though. See, and here they go. B's actually sticking together as a unit, getting multiple shot shooters in on one target. This is what they've been missing. They've been splitting up a little too much tonight. Keep it together, B's. Show him that you want to. Yeah, he Both of them pushing out. Right there, Zamek. They're pushing. They're pushing out. Out to the Shit. other side. They're halfway in. No, they went back out. I see him. Chug trying to come with a little flanky McStanky. Uh, Might have spoke too soon about the splitting up. Fuck impact. Oh, we're both down. Fuck. Fuck, you got me. I'm down. I'm down, Zamek. Zamek, Zamek, Zamek. I'm going in, I got He's kitchen, kitchen. He's at the back. Sorry, sorry, I got it. He's by the coffee maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. They've got the fast hat going. Chuck's got the jammy jam. I'll watch the kitchen. Just don't stand right next to each other, you know? He's coming to this door. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> With a C4. Beautiful to bring that on attack. Beautiful. Great choice. Yay. Great choice. They're definitely going to want to change that, now to Sauce and That's the highlight of Chuck's evening, getting a C4 kill on Darnell. I'd be pretty proud of that one. Um, I might clip that, YouTube it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't get him to look down right now, but, oh, come on. Uh, right there. Perfect. All right. So uh, on that last one, you've got my guys that end up losing that one. Um, it was Hot Sauce. Trying their best, but D sauce he gets two kills, but that was it. No other kills, no other revives. The bees uh really overtake on that one. Zamic really showing off. Three kills, one revive. Chuck goes in there with the last one kill to wrap everything up. Also, Frankie Cumshot jumps in there with his one revive. So really good plays on the wannabes. They take another point. Uh still behind by one, score six to five, hot sauce. Yeah, I got just a little worried there. I wasn't once you know, they were doing okay all four together. They got Naughty and Linesy out, and then once they split up again, Darnell, <coughs> you know, dropping uh roof and B really fast. So I was like, Oh guys, come on, don't don't do that. Don't be splitting up like that. You're doing just fine. So glad they got to pull off the win there. Looks like we're gonna have another switch. Where's Walzer? Uh so it's gonna be first team to eleven. Yep. All right, so are they making another switch? It looks like it. Holy hell. Yeah. Oh, man, that means more lag test. Got to love it, baby. Fun. You know, maybe it. if we add them all together, they might have actually broke on the record tonight. Maybe not for one continuous lag test, but for an overall, they're pushing the limit. No, Walzer, uh, that's straight it, up. Man. Whoever, yeah, straight gets, up, to whoever gets to 11. Yep. No winning by two. Best of 21, basically, is what you can say. Uh, so that would be best to 11. The first team who gets to 11 is going to be the winner. And they will move on to the final, where they will fight either Murder Kittens or Los Toxicos. Los Toxicos. Los Toxicos. That's going to be a really good match. That one, um, when we saw them play, it was, I believe, right at the very, I believe, week one. Correct me, Buck, if you're still here on whether or not you guys played Los Toxicos. But, uh... I think it was week one. Los Toxicos went up like by 
two or something like right off the bat, two or three points. <clears throat> And yeah. then Murder Kittens turned it around and started steamrolling. But I mean, from the get go, Los Toxicos came out with them on a mission, and Murder Kittens was kind of, you know, on their heels, like, "Whoa, what, what's going on? These guys, these guys came to fight. What's going on?" So, and then after seeing them playing Super Sweet Potatoes, you know, Murder Kittens is gonna, y'all gonna have a match on your hands, Cole. You know, I mean, without a go, doubt, yeah, through through pa- through past seasons, when it comes to Murder Kittens. Like, we've seen them overtake, but not only overtake, but just in the normal season of collecting up points to who's going to be first, second, third, and so on. Um, Murderkins has always, like, really excelled, like, really outside of the spectrum from the other squads. But it hasn't been that way in this season, not, not in season seven. Still Murderkins in number one spot, but the point system was so close between all these squads. You know, you've got Hot Sauce. In a close second point, uh, second place in points, and then Wannabe is the third. But to a degree, when uh, the last time we saw Hot Sauce and Wannabe's play, which was another dynamic added to it, was that they played week 11, but that was there was no way that either team could get any points to get ahead of the other one. There was no way that Hot Sauce could win all 12 and take over Murder Kittens' spot. So Murder Kittens held a very strong, dominant hold on points over everybody this season. Not as much maybe as in years past, but yeah. not to take away from the point that you're saying, we've had some really competitive teams this year all the way through the ranks, as we said earlier. You know, even though it's bot- bottom of the barrel, that eighth and seventh spot, those last spots in the playoffs, we had, you know, five teams fighting for that shit. And, yeah. you know, in, in the middle there, Los Toxicos, Super Sweet Potatoes, um, Wannabes, Sesame Street Gang, they were all really close in points too, so... Uh, it's been a really interesting year. A lot of shakeups happening. A couple new teams with new players bringing in some some heavy hitters on certain teams. So it's it's been a it's been a great season so far. I'm glad that the, the playoffs have been turning out the way they have. And like Buck said, yeah, we start slow, finish strong. That I mean, we've seen that from Americans every year. They they sit back those first couple rounds and kind of, you know, maybe get beat around a little bit, but then they figure out your plan, figure out your scheme. They know you're, they start to learn your, your momentum and when you push and when you're going to throw grenades and they start picking you apart. Samurai in the house. There we go. Yeah. Big shout out to Samurai. All right. right, So they are loaded up. They're going into prep right now. So this is just a lag test. So everybody knows. Um, and then after they get this down and they feel comfortable, then we're all going to jump back into office and play the uh, the bottom half of that one. Yeah, so interesting here. I'm not, not quite <clears throat> sure what was up with the uh, switching in between. Usually it's every six rounds you'll switch hosts, so they're – must have been some audio issues or something going on, but either that like they were, were finally getting yeah, there. They, they were getting close. I mean, if bottom half of office will be twelve games, maybe they just gonna do a, a little change, a little little early. Revives looking good from Chuck's POV. Oh, it would have been really good plays if that was a real one. Naughty did great. Okay. All right, so they're basically figuring out who's going to be the host for him. Apparently, he was not very happy when uh, 